It is not an easy mantle to take on, you realize, to have so many eyes upon you at all times. Your Majesty, the Royal Physician has a report on the King. Dead. Should the Royal Physician seek to tell me my husband is dead? Is he dead? He? The King. Regardless of the truth, people, nay, gossips. Is he dead? I have not heard anything, Your Majesty. Your husband is quite hearty. They will contrive shameless falsehoods. It forces you to remember who you once were. You were chosen. This is a great honor. Grimsley, tell me about the king. He is the king. Is he handsome? Is he kind? Is he funny? Is he warm? Mm. Hello, my lady. I am a lady in distress. You refuse to help a lady in distress? I refuse when that lady in distress is trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. Hello, Charlotte. I'm George. To meet a beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend and the most beautiful of women is something entirely apart. You do not know me. What do you want to know? Everything. I like books and art and good conversation. Most of all, I like science. Science? This, it is an observatory for looking at the stars. The stars in the heavens. Or perhaps unusually lucky to understand friendship to be the best possible foundation a marriage can have. And I'm very nervous about marrying a girl I am only just meeting minutes before our wedding. I promise you, I am neither a troll nor a beast. My bride, my beautiful bride. She is lucky. You shall be happy. The king realizes that the wedding is in six hours. Even if that foundation should crumble as quickly as it's built. Love is not a thing one is able or not able to do based on some magic. You are incomparable. You are breathtaking. You are spectacular. I did not know a woman could be so beautiful. My wife is beautiful. Look at you. You are gradual. That is for plays. This is our house. It is your house. This is my house. Is it not also our house? I suppose officially St. James's Palace is our house, but this is where you shall stay. Because marriage is difficult. This is your home. And that is yours? Yes. Full of pains. George, what have I done wrong? George, this is how it is to be. Yes. What is so wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Well, there must be something wrong with me. To at least help. I do not need to do anything. I decide. I have decided I am your king! My mistake. I'm completely alone. And you prefer the sky to me. I thought you were just George. Forgive me, Your Majesty. I do not want to fight. I want to fight with you! Fight with me! Fight for me! Go home! Charlotte! They appear to be satisfied. They seem very content. I hate him. He is infuriating. Very happy. He is a lying liar who lies. They are a wonder together. He is smitten with her beauty. I hate his voice. I hate the way that he breathes. Will you please no longer breathe so very loudly? Would you please not talk? I will talk if I wish to talk. Charlotte, where are you going? Where are you going? I do not know. Just away from you, wherever you are not. Charlotte. This world well, match does not have to start out as love. It can grow. Love can bloom from the thorniest of gardens, can it not? Your marriage, the wondrous love you share with the king. Shall I leave? Yes, leave now. I'm so sorry. I do not forgive you. Yet. Yet. I can feel you watching me. I like watching you. Yet is good. It is pretty, but it has a thousand tiny buttons. I'm very good with buttons. Yet is hope. We can start over. Try again.
it happened so early. You were so young. I am a stranger to them. They are strangers to us. You cannot think me this ignorant. There is reason they wanted me a stranger. Because I think he may be a beast. A beast? Or a troll. Who are we discussing? The king. No one told me you would be this beautiful. You may be too beautiful to marry me. People will talk. If she were ugly, if she were dull, I might feel myself up to the task. Instead, her... Given I am a troll. Brilliance shows the... Shows the troll I am. You do not like beasts or trolls? What he looks like matters? I do not care what he looks like. What I do not like is not knowing. But there are worse fates than marrying the King of England. If he had died, maybe you would have been hurt, grieved, but eventually you would have healed and moved on. Shall I send for the doctor, Your Majesty? No. Primsley? What doctor? Charlotte. She will never know of it. How ill is he? He is not ill. Then why the doctor? You refuse to hold court. You will not go out. I'm told we cannot bring in amusement. I have duties to attend. That the king's condition is not merely physical, but nervous. George, it is cold. I feel you talk to me. She will. She will lose the moon. <laughs> you will feel. Yes. Surely there must be something that you can do. Something to end the fits. Forever. Strap me back. What the bloody hell are you doing to him? Treating him! Is there any chance I have a being with her? I have a letter for His Majesty from his wife. No! You're not ready. <laughs> Untie him! Untie the king! She has a husband. Look, George, it is me. But in a very real way, she is as much a widow as you and I. I am Charlotte, and I need you to be George again. I need you to try. And it forces you to choose how you will live with it again and again. I care not for his sanity. I care for his happiness. I care for his soul. Love is a choice one makes. Come back to me, George. Come back. Let him be mad, if mad is what he needs. You take someone in marriage and you choose to love them. I do not want you. I want never to see you. Leave. No, what are you doing? Get out! I order you! No, no, George. Love is determination. I have heard that you wish I had not come. That you want me to go, that you do not want to see me. Charlotte. What I have not heard is that you do not love me. And the life of a royal is lonely. So you grab someone and you hang on. Perhaps you stay away from me because you care for me. I have done as they asked. I married. Now I shall leave her alone. Safe from me. Perhaps you stay away because you love me. I can't take the risk. Especially with a woman so unpredictable. You can leave me. I would understand. And I would let you go. George, I will not leave you. You should. She's playing chess with herself. She is mad. Well, she is almost as mad as I am. Or maybe a perfect match. I am a madman. I am a danger. In my mind, there are different worlds creeping in. Is this because you do not believe that I could love you? I do. You have half a husband, Charlotte. Half a life. I love you. I love you so much that I will do as you wish. I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. I will tell you where you are. Do you love me? I love you! What we have is half. Then we shall make it the very best half. From the moment I saw you trying to go over the wall, I have loved you desperately. I cannot breathe when you are not near. I love you, Charlotte. I am your queen. And as long as I am so, I shall never leave your side. You'll not resume treatment soon. We risk losing everything we have accomplished. <laughs> this madness has been my secret my entire life. You and I, Doctor, have accomplished nothing. You bring the light. Doctor, I feel healthier than I have in years. Great love can make miracles. You love and you love hard, because if you do not, you are lost. His Majesty has good days and down days. George, dearest, can
Can you come out for me? Hide from the heavens with me. There is no kill. That was many hope. This is who I am. It is you and me. I miss you. I'm right here, Lodi. I will be here sometimes, and sometimes I'll. What are they doing? Stop! Leave! Leave me! Leave me! No, no, you come back here. She has killed my child! George! No, do not bother me! In, in, in the sky. You are still his queen. Forever frozen. Forever waiting. What matters madness when true love flourishes? Half king, half farmer. But always just George. George. Just George. And we need you to be George again. That is all you need to be. You can do anything, George. With you by my side, I think I can. <laughs> Together, we are whole. One crowd. We can do this. Together. There is no one here but us. His weight is mine, and mine is his. We are a team. We are one crown. You and me. 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 Thank you. You never have to thank me. is the love a king shares with his queen, and nothing more. I should certainly not find the proper words to discuss it, even if given a million lifetimes to do so.